We have a school in Hicks Bay, Te Araa, two schools in Ruatoria, one school in Tolaga, and they all travel to Gisborne on Friday to be part of the Trades Academy. From Hicks Bay, that's three hours down to Gisborne, spend four hours on the course, and then travel three hours back to Hicks Bay. What we have found is participants in the Trades Academy often re-engage in school, their attendance at the school increases, the attendance in the Trades Academy is amazing, and we've had many um, parents actually come to us and say how these students have been transformed as a result of the Academy. They choose their own pathways, they, they have a taste of the, their own pathways, and from that, that's where they decide whether it's for them or whether it isn't. And they can also say, I really know how to put together maybe this type of machinery, is there anything else I can do? And so we might suggest that perhaps you go into the trades area where there's an extension of what you've already learned. They are telling us what it is that they want from the trades. I've already done the inside of that one. We come here once a week, so we try and make the most of what we're doing. And for a girl, I really don't like getting my hands dirty, so I thought I'd give that a go. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And we put it in the label part of the uh, face it off some squid. Okay. Cool. The challenges of the region for young people over here in Ruatoria are that um, many of the, the families are from you know, first, second or third generation unemployed. Prior to the Trades Academy, I guess we didn't have any, I guess, firm pathway by which um, students who were, you know, interested in those sorts of um, jobs could, um, I guess, find meaningful employment in those jobs. The pathway which Trades Academy gives to them is, I guess, as genuine a pathway as any other. Um, you know, if a student goes and wants to be a doctor or lawyer, then that's fine. But the parents are equally supportive of their child, whether they're going to be a carpenter, a plumber, or a doctor or a lawyer. And so the yeah the community is right behind um, you know the trades academy. All these these jack studs in that there and all the other studs in there hold help hold the blooming house up, okay. And the your nogs and your dwangs just make sure they don't go this way. Understanding the tutors and the tutors understanding us, they are actually singling out and they get to spend the time with the kids, and they get to single out some of the skill sets that they feel could suit different industries. And now and again I get a call and they say, hey how are you going down there? Uh, we've got a kid that could be suitable. Would, would you have a look at him? Well, I grew up on a farm, so there's a lot of stuff that needed fixing, like vehicles, houses, and all that. So I was just looking for something that I can do to help the families around, around home. Having that opportunity there to have a look and actually get a hands-on work doing a bit of engineering and carpentry, I was able to decide which one was best for me. Just having that there just gave me the lift I needed. I managed to finish school. <laughs> I saw this new thing and then wanting to learn. And, uh, well, I could only support that. You know, it's given him something to do because we're practical people, eh? Because education was different for us. It wasn't uh, something to strive for. We actually thought it sucked. And well, we didn't want that for our young people. Um, you know, to, uh, I think later on in our lives we realised uh, it wasn't education we didn't like. It was the teachers. So um, uh, I'm telling, trying to tell them now, learn what you can. Don't make the same mistakes as we did. Yeah, so it's just this one here just needs to be a little bit closer. That's great. That looks really good. We have high NCE level 2 pass rate because the credits that they get from um, the trades, they marry up with their credits at school. Yep, so once you've finished that, you can put her straight so that you can stand back a bit and have a look at the balance. And so that looks really nice. The Trades Academy has only worked with the collective goodwill of all the principals in the region. It's involved changing teaching strategies of the tutors, engagement with the community, engagement of employers and getting feedback from the parents. All of that combined produces a course which we hope that the students enjoy because it's practical, it's fun and it's engaging. The biggest one is the transformation of them and themselves, their, their, their confidence and their self-esteem. They make things every day and they, have a, they start with nothing and they end up with something and they think, oh, I've just created that and they, they grow and, and the self-confidence kind of takes off. That's the big, the big one. If you can just do that, you're, you're winning, you know. 
Uh, but academically, the numeracy and literacy always improves, so, and that's, that's a huge thing, just by being here every week. But they're great. The Coastie kids are coming. Yeah, they're good. Thank <laughs> you.